5.10. All right. So here he says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your, advers the, your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah, the devil's walking around. The devil's trying to devour. Yeah, but you have authority. He says, resist steadfast. Because you can. And finally, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 17. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the rhema of God. Praying. Go to the next verse. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Now you're going to pray and enforce the victory of Christ in your city by announcing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that your city belongs to Jesus Christ, belongs to God. He paid, Jesus paid for the whole field. The, the field is the word. He bought everything and it all belongs to him. And, you know, he wants to pick leaders for nations. But why will he pick leaders for nations except we exercise authority in such nations? In the realm of the spirit. Proclaim the kingdom of God. When Jesus came, he says, the kingdom of God is here. The Bible says Jesus came preaching the kingdom of God and he announced the kingdom of God. Mark chapter 1. Look, go to the living Bible. Mark chapter 1 verse 15. The living Bible. At last the time has come, he announced. God's kingdom is here. I love Jesus. Look at it. He walks in, he says, at last the time has come. God's kingdom is near. And you know, God's kingdom is near and God's kingdom is here in the, um, the Hebraism are the same. They are the same. Hallelujah. Okay, so you announce because you are in that city, because you are in that country, the kingdom of God has come in you. The kingdom of God is here. In fact, in Jesus' day, even if you said it was near or it was here, remember, he was the representative of the kingdom. He came with the king. Where the king is, there's where the kingdom is. See? And he was right there. But he's here in us today. And in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the nations belong to Jesus Christ. Satan has no right. We do not allow Satan to control the nations anymore. He controlled them for a long time. But we have said no, he doesn't continue. He cannot control any country, any nation. We are not giving him one, not even one nation. The power of the Holy Ghost upon the nations. The power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, pray right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost upon the nations. The power of the Holy Ghost to enlighten the people. The power of the Holy Ghost to give them a perceptive mind, an analytical mind to combat deception. The power of the Holy Ghost upon the nations. Labradoski parundeligraski lahangradigas. And we begin.